Hi Virgo, welcome to your July general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Virgo. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you, and leave what doesn't for someone who really needs to hear this message. Hi, cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Virgo. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Virgo and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the carpool to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect to your energy by doing this. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times. And during that time, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions you may have in regards to your love life. And we'll see what spirit has to say. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Virgo. Okay, how do I describe this? Um, so I like saw a charm on someone's necklace, but then I kind of heard like it could also be a little tattoo and it looked like either a heart or like a thunderbolt or like a star. And um, it could be like that one person's like only tattoo or um, I don't know why spirit had to clarify that, but it's like a symbol tattoo, I guess that um, you can only see if someone's not wearing that much clothes, um, whether that's like a bathing suit or just naked, I don't know. Um, I felt someone like grab a hold of my thigh and it felt like it was like letting me know that um, they're interested in me, that they want me. Um, something about someone's thighs really turns someone on, um, whether someone has thick thighs, sexy thighs, and yes, men can have thick, sexy fat thighs, just saying. <laughs> um, but then I saw like a very spontaneous kiss. Like I feel someone um, who made the kisses like very risk taking, a little impulsive, and they felt the energy of just wanting to kiss you. And it may have felt like mid conversation or while you guys were like listening to music, like maybe this was at a concert or a festival you guys went to together with. And they felt the need to kiss you right then and there because they felt the moment was so perfect. This could be something you're going to experience soon or, um, again, something you're already experiencing with someone. And I also saw a mustache. I wonder if someone's grown out a mustache. The last time you saw them, they had a mustache. Um, obviously, that's not for everyone, right? But for a few of you, this is who I'm kind of tuning into. Um, so I'm really curious to see what this all means, why this person wants to come into your energy, and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and see what spirit has to say for my Virgos in July. So with this reading, I am tuning into an energy in around your psychic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you right now in this moment, whether you are single or taken, whether you're currently in the connection or in separation with this energy. Let's see who's coming through, why they're coming through, and what this means for you guys in the month of July. So first I'm seeing like Ray-Bans or like cat eye sunglasses. That someone always likes to wear that last time you met up with them was somewhere outside sunny and maybe they were wearing those tell me more about this energy what is this okay here we go so 
A new romantic cycle begins with the new moon in Libra. So that you could be dealing with the Libra, you could have Libra moon, Libra rising, Libra Venus, but there's something new coming into your life. It does feel like this is the newest romance. If it's not something brand new, then this is your most recent connection. And they may want to kind of take this a bit further. They may kind of want to um, start something with you and kind of move it in accelerated motion. They don't want it to plateau here. This person's very charming. They're very flirtatious. Um, you know, it's just they're very sexy in the way that they go about um, hitting on you, the words they say to you. Uh, they text you really um, sexy messages with winks at the end of them or smiley faces, but like not an emoji smiley face. Like, the semicolon parentheses type of smiley face. Um, interesting. Tell me more about this new romantic cycle for Virgo. Then we have storm warning. Uh oh. Okay. Number 10. So this could rile up some feathers, let's just say. This could, um, yeah, and I've been feeling that a lot with the signs. Like, envious energy jealous energy like energy around some of the signs where it's like they don't want someone to be with someone so this could be x energy this could be someone who finds out that you're moving on or that you're dating someone new that has a lot of anger about it um and this energy like i feel like almost like combative energy like aries energy scorpio energy taurus energy that will like fight someone and they may want to fight the newer person you're with, like they saw their social media and they're just like super pissed. Um, maybe their first, middle, last initial could start with an S, as in um, Serena, as in Seth, first, middle, last initial, like I said. They're trying, this storm warning is like someone that does not want you to proceed with someone new or with the person you've been recently connected with. And they may try to start some drama. Okay. And it's interesting because I saw that lightning bolt in the meditation, and here's all that lightning here as well. So um, that could be like the strike of anger that's going through someone knowing that you're moving on. But I also feel with the new romantic cycle, like your connection was instant powerful like a spark between the two of you that just hit and maybe other people are noticing that talking about it and it got to this person and they may be seeing you guys are getting closer and they can't stand it wow yeah this storm morning person is almost like if i can't have you no one can i think that's kind of what made you want to separate from this person in the beginning okay tell me more there could also be, um, you know, change plans because of the weather for a certain date, especially if it was supposed to be outside, camping. Um, but they may find something else that they want to do with you. Uh, okay, the Caduceus. You will receive news from afar. Wow. So first of all, I'm feeling very strong Rock Archangel Raphael vibes. And I feel Archangel Raphael wants to come in for you guys to heal from the storm warning that either like some of you are already experiencing or will soon experience. They're trying to take you out of character. They're trying to get a rise out of you, a reaction out of you. They may try to fight with you. Like, you know, I'm seeing all caps type of text messages, um, accusations. Archangel Raphael wants you to stay away from that energy. Um, I feel like it's not good for you, your mental health, your spiritual health, and you're absolutely right. So if you are kind of feeling torn or you will see that newer energy is, you know, coming in and old energy is following, like spirit wants you to do what will make you feel most safe, will what make you feel most healed. And someone's unhealed wound should not be transferred over to you. And I feel like that's what the ex older energy is trying to do, whether they doing it verbally or, you know, energetically. There could be someone that is in healthcare, whether that is like nursing, uh, someone has a, uh, you know, a doctorate or um, could be in like the healthcare industry to some extent, or just someone's a natural healer. And I feel like Virgo, whoever you are with, with this storm warning energy, you know, knows your good heart, knows that you're someone that cares very deeply and wants to help others. And that um, they're just upset that they don't get that light from you anymore. 
and that you're giving that to someone else. But I do kind of see here, like with this new romantic cycle begins and that spark energy, like Kundalini activation all the way through both of you. And, um, you know, I feel as if you already are kind of getting a sense with this new romantic cycle. There's things that are feeling more imbalanced, intertwined than with anyone else before. And again, I think people are seeing it. People are talking about it. And it somehow got back to the storm person here who wants to make a scene or who wants to rile up the troops. They're the type that maybe even has like thrown something or broken something out of anger. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get into the tarot. I want to connect to this newer energy, but I think spirit just wanted you to be aware of this storm warning just to prepare you Virgo. But let's go ahead and see. So I'm going to ask, how do they feel about you right now? What do they think of you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you? What are they really hoping is going to happen and unfold between the two of you? And what are they afraid of? Okay, so first card out, we have death, Scorpio energy. Ooh, then we have Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So interesting. This has been the card of this series. But for you guys, Nine of Pentacles is coming out of reverse. So someone wants to take you out of the market. Someone wants to boo you up. Someone wants to make sure you're theirs. Um, but I feel that goes both ways, right? And I think this new romantic person, like, may kind of want to, like, address, address like, this storm energy, especially if they're going to start to harass you social media wise or like phone call wise like your newer person wants to stand up for you and put an end to it i'm also seeing a collared shirt so i wonder if someone has to wear a collared shirt for work or if it's like a polo shirt or like a collared flannel that someone likes to wear yeah yeah wow that X energy, old energy is trying to cling on to dear life, Virgo. They're very possessive of you. Very possessive of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two nines here. Your birthday could be September 9th, September 19th, or um, August 29th for a few of you. Okay. I'm hearing 90s, so someone could be like a 90s baby or someone has like 90s type of style of how they dress, really into 90s music. Okay. Okay. Wow, yeah. So bottom of the deck, we have the six of pentacles. Now there's two sixes here. Your birthday could be September 6th, September 16th, or August 26th. But, okay, so I feel with this Six of Pentacles, different information for different groups of you. For some of you guys, the X energy did not work out because they were, again, like I'm feeling this like immature, but maybe even borderline like narcissistic energy where it's like they were exhausting. Like they always demanded your time, your energy, your attention, um, wanted to kind of cruise in and out of your life when they wanted you and needed you and then kind of left you dry. There was some unequal balance here. And I think that uh, now that they see that you're giving your attention, your light, your energy to someone else, they can't stand it. And I think it's more so of their own ego need than anything else. Um, and I feel like someone is definitely trying to I hate to say this term, but cock block here. And again, I know that's derogatory. I'm sorry, but what's a better way to say it? Like try to come in between, um, you know, two people that are trying to move forward here. And others of you with the six of pentacles, um, I feel this newer energy is just like very caring. They definitely show a lot more interest than your past person and i think that's something that you're kind of getting used to especially if you were with that past person for a really long time it was like you i don't know through the process of healing you kind of understood what was normal and not normal in a connection and it took some time to get out of it to kind of see it from the outside looking in and you saw that someone will be there for you in equal give and take that there's someone who wouldn't ask too much of you in order for their satisfaction 
needs to be satisfied. Um, you know, just someone that I feel like the past would not make you feel appreciated, not make you feel um, interested and may have always left you hanging type of energy. So this is kind of the background here. Let's go ahead and dive deeper. So how someone feels about you is the death card. Interesting because we have a new romantic cycle begin. So I feel honestly, this is the storm warning here and maybe seeing that you're entering a new romantic cycle is really giving them the hint that you guys are over and that's something they're not dealing very well with. This is something that they're very angry with. They can't believe you ended it. They can't believe it's really done and they're festering about it. They're stewing about it. And I think that energy is trying to project onto, you know, how you feel about this newer energy is um, something that maybe, I don't know, I, I feel, I'm seeing block, like maybe someone had to block someone and that has, you know, also sealed the deal that things are over and they're not sitting well with that. This feels like the storm warning energy. And I feel if this has anything to do with new romantic cycle, the newer person, the newest person, they want this person to stop because I feel as if it's getting to the point where, um, you know, they're talking crap or that they're trying to reach out or they're trying to instigate fights, drama. And uh, they may feel like they have to do something in order to address this because they see the treatment and they don't think you deserve that at all. But I do feel mostly this is past energy that is mad about your new boo currently. What they think about you is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. I feel taken. You know, yet you're taken, you're off the market, you have selected someone to spend more time with, to be exclusive with, or at least like focus more on, right? If it's not official that you guys are in a relationship. And this new romantic person is like super excited about it that, um, you know, you're kind of devoting your time to them, that you're zeroing in on them, spending more time with them. You're not so much out in the open on the market. Um, but again, if this is that storm energy person, they found out recently that you are dating someone else so that you're interested in someone else. And that's giving them a sense of loss of control. And, you know, I, I hate this feeling I'm getting, but it's like they're talking about how you're promiscuous or the way you're dressing is to show off or, you know, just bad energy around what they're trying to project onto you and trying to take you down a notch, especially to other people. What they like the most about you is the Six of Cups. So this is Scorpio energy. Some of you could have Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon. Um, you are someone that, again, with the Caduceus here, is just like a very healing person to be around. You're very soft. You're very sweet. You like to help people. You like to be a good friend. You like to go out of your way to help those you care about. And I think, again, that storm energy took that for granted for some time. But now you are more in tune with your boundaries. You're more in tune with recognizing who's going to appreciate that love and devotion and who isn't. But I think, you know, the storm energy misses that attention and care that you gave them and put so much of yourself into. Um, but this newer romantic energy. So again, you guys may have known each other for a very long time, but you know, things didn't really kick off until now or very recently. Maybe you guys come from the same, you know, town and I'm even getting like small town vibes, maybe from the country. I don't know. And um, I wonder if it's just kind of like you guys just started recently connecting, even if you've known each other for a while. And, um, you know, I think they've always had a crush on you, if that's the case. Like, they always liked you, and, but maybe it's because you were in a relationship or maybe because there was distance or bad timing. They didn't feel it was right, but now seeing that you're available, um, they want to sweep you off the market. They've been, I think, revealing the times and stories where they wanted to kiss you or that they wanted to tell you they liked you. Um, they even have a picture of you guys from way back. I wonder if this is high school, maybe even elementary school, I don't know, that they showed you and they always kind of held on to. Or maybe it was from like college or something like that. 
but yeah, if this is storm energy, yeah, they're still using the past in the means of like the feelings they had for you and what you guys used to have in a way to emotionally hold you hostage. They have a letter that you wrote to them, handwritten letter that they still keep and read the older energy. What they don't like about you is the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. So I feel this is the storm energy. And like I said, like wanting to think that you're sh trying to, you know, show yourself off, that you're trying to seduce and flirt and yeah, just kind of making you feel guilty for that. They think that um, you're in this like empowered era that is just going to be just a small amount of time and um, that you're doing things that is kind of like overtly flirty or desperate. Again, this is just their perspectives. This is not the truth. I'm just the messenger and maybe they're skewing this to kind of justify their irrational feelings towards this. But yeah, they think uh, you are just showing too much skin lately or that you're trying to hook up, that you're trying to seduce and they're trying to tell other people about that. But I don't think the other people are seeing it the same way that they're trying to project. Um, if this is newer energy, man, you are really sexy, hot, attractive, and they may be afraid that if they don't act soon, someone else is going to swoop up on you. So they want to like, you know, make sure you're all theirs. I wouldn't say mark their territory per se, but you know, just they kind of get why maybe when you get some looks looking your way, it ignites a little bit of a passionate jealousy within them, but not to the extent of the storm energy let me be clear, but in a natural way, right? There could also be someone who's, um, you know, at first no one would ever think you would have a little bit of a feistiness, a sassiness, but it comes out and people may get a little bit surprised at that sassy, feisty side that you have. Maybe a little bit competitive too, especially in like um, board games, drinking games. What they like the most about this connection is the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy, and this feels like the newest person, um, especially because you are such a healing person, your, your energy is so high vibrating and you make people feel very comfortable, like you were able to kind of let their guard down. You were always like kind of very interested in getting in deep conversations with them. And I feel as if you guys have bonded through those deep conversations, especially what you guys have been through. Um, I feel as if you are someone that uh, they see has a very strong warrior type of personality too. You know, people tend to underestimate you, I feel, or that you feel maybe. But like they see that you're someone that is so much stronger, so much, you know, that you've been through. You've always been able to pick yourself back up again. And I think a lot of people who are seeing you, you know, move on with this newer energy are happy for you because of what you just recently came out with or, you know, your last person was that storm energy. And maybe this person, this new romantic cycle is helping you heal from the past in a way that you haven't experienced in some time. They also love it when you sit on their lap or when, you know, they sit in your lap. Um lap sitting is something i'm seeing a bit a little bit of grinding i don't know i, I have to keep this pg-13 what they don't like about this connection is the two of pentacles capricorn energy so if this is the newer energy i'd say this is like very minor but maybe they're kind of wondering if there's a part of you that's still unsure that may be somewhat tied to the past especially if like finances are involved splitting of assets are involved kids are involved like they're afraid there could be some sort of uncertainty from that but that feels more like a you know worry than an actual truth but if it is then great um if this is that storm energy with the two of pentacles, like, you know, really weirdly, it's like they think you're posting things or hanging out with people to kind of tease them and to kind them leading them on. And again, it's a very self-centered type of way of thinking and perceiving, but they think you're just trying to, you know, dangle it in front of them that you're with someone new. 
But I feel with this Two of Pentacles too, like, especially if this is the newer energy, they may be feeling like you don't want this newer energy to get involved with the ex because you know how, you know, crazy it can get from zero to a hundred pretty quick. But they want to be there for you. They don't want you to carry all this alone. So maybe some like want you to, instead of being like, oh, it's okay, I'm fine, like to really just let them take on some of the load that you have. Someone could also work two jobs um, that is kind of demanding or someone has like a job and a side hustle trying to get, you know, money in a different way that takes a lot of time. And maybe um, recently because of that, you haven't been seeing as much of each other where someone knows that maybe someone's job is high demanding, high stress, especially with the medical industry, right? Someone could be on call and um, that could be something a little bit difficult for someone to be involved with. I'm hearing yoga pants. Um, someone could be wearing yoga pants right now. Or last time you saw them, they were wearing yoga pants. You were. Someone could do yoga as a means to kind of, you know, de-stress. Seeing like YouTube yoga videos for someone here very specifically. Highest hopes is the 10 of wands. So we do have two 10s here. 1010 10 could be a number synchronicity you're seeing, which is a major cycle wrapping up. So a new one could begin, right? I think this is where spirit wants to wrap up anything from the past and clear it all away so this new beginning can really flourish. But um, your birthday could be September 10th, or you could be a cusper with uh, September 20th or August 20th, right? But this is Sagittarius energy and the newest energy, I feel both of you feel this way, like despite the drama and the chaos of someone trying to project onto you too, or that's happening around you guys, whether that's job related or drama related, like you guys are going to make it through this. You care enough about each other to try it out, to be each other's support system, to open up in a way where someone's not going to take the baggage as something to walk, run away from, but to help someone with. As much as you help other people, Virgo, I think someone wants to help you as much lay the load down. Like I'm seeing like someone wants to give you a massage, like to ease the tension and the stress maybe. They really do care about you, Virgo. And if this is the storm energy, yeah, they're doing their damnest to hold on, even if everything's falling apart, even if they're delusional about it. Like they're trying to keep what you two had whole held in their own control. And they're fighting for it, they're pushing for it. And it's causing you a lot of stress. And this breakup from the storm because person could have happened in the fall. Deepest fears is the page of wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And I feel this is the storm energy's fear, right? Like your new hookup, your new connection, your new interest is going to captivate you, is going to excite you. You guys are hitting it off and... The storm energy just imagines you two kissing each other, sleeping with each other, and it's just something they're fixated on, literally. Um, if this is the newest energy, I think they're afraid that like this flame is just quickly lit, it's gonna die out, that this is just for the, you know, a rebound or like a temporary type of thing. And they're already so excited about it. I even feel like they get chills being around you, Virgo, that they would hate for this to just instantly, you know, end as quick as it started, right? And this person could be much younger than you and they may be afraid if there's like any issues with like the age difference between the two of you. I don't know why I heard TikTok. I wonder if this person has a TikTok following or like sends you a lot of TikToks and someone's just like, I don't know how to watch these or <laughs> make these, I don't know. But anyway, to see the likely outcome of this situation, what's likely to happen and unfold from now to end of the month, you need to be aware of, know about anything that I can tell you that will help you make the best decision for yourself regardless of what happens. We're gonna go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm gonna overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome. Pull some more tarot oracle cards to dive deeper into this situation. So Virgo, if you felt this message was for you, I promise there'll be more answers and information in the extended reading. 
To join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where I depart Virgo, I really hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope it's giving you clarity, insight, healing, guidance in regards to what's going on in your love life in July. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Virgo, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Virgo.